Now. Okay, welcome everyone. Tonight's demo is about making popcorn balls. It's winter time and I thought it'd be a fun Tupperware theme to do a snowball party. And at your snowball party, you're gonna make popcorn balls, okay? And so those will be our snowballs tonight. And tonight we're gonna use some awesome pieces of Tupperware. We're gonna start with our Chef Series cookware. And we have our guest Elizabeth here tonight, who's gonna be helping me out. And our, if you haven't seen our cookware yet, you are missing out. It is awesome. It is um, a five layered bottle. You can call it tri clad because there's two layers of stainless steel, two layers, um, I'm sorry, one layer of aluminum in the center, which um, evenly um, conducts the heat, and then two more layers of um, steel. Okay, because you don't want to cook on the aluminum, even though it's the best heat conducting metal. You don't want to cook on it. It's been tied to Alzheimer's disease and all that. All that. Um, so you want to stay away from cooking on aluminum, but the stainless steel, so it makes a nice flat surface. You can use it on electric stoves, um, gas stoves, induction stoves. Um, those little burners that you get, those are great for that too. Those induction burners are fabulous. They actually can even go into your oven. And then this gorgeous <coughs> outer, um, um, here right here is um, 18 10 gauge steel. It's nickel and chrome, so it keeps that wonderful polish for you all the time. And a little secret to keeping it shiny, baking soda. Dry baking soda, just pour it on there, wipe it with a dry sponge, and all that black stuff will come off. <laughs> this is the three quart saute pan, and it has um, a nice handle here, saucepan I should say. Um, the handles are hollow, so they don't get hot. So anytime you wanna pick this up, don't have to worry, you're not gonna burn your fingers. And they also have rivets here. Anybody have a pan at home that wobbles when you take it to the stove top? <laughs> anyway, you won't have that happening with Tupperware because these are riveted, they're not screwed on, okay? So you have the handle, there's little pour spouts here. Now the newer pieces don't have um, the Teflon coating, the saucepans now come all steel, okay? Then you have your cover, glass cover, nice wide opening here for your um, fingers so even the guys, big hands, they can fit um, their hands under here and take those seals off. And it's a glass um, cover so that you can see in it. You know how they say um, a boiled, a watched pot never boils? It's because you keep opening the cover <laughs> to look inside. So you won't have to do that, so it's gonna boil a little bit faster for you. It also has little strainers here, so when you're pouring out your liquids, you can keep that um, everything in the pan for you, okay? So 18, 10 gauge steel, dry clad bottoms, hollow um, handles, riveted handles, nice wide opening here, they're fabulous and they go in the oven too. So we're gonna have Elizabeth make our sauce um, for the popcorn balls. And we're gonna use, um, this is the um, eight quart, saucepan and we're going to flip it over and you use that side. I'm going to do the popcorn on this side. Okay. And I'm just going to take and coat the bottom of this. I know I'm using a really fancy piece of Tupperware for, for popcorn, but it makes the best popcorn. If you've never made popcorn in your cookware, you've got to try it. I usually just pour um, corn oil on the bottom until it's coated. And then we're going to add white popcorn, and you can use any popcorn you like. And for this recipe, it calls for five quarts, and this is a six quart pan, so I figured that'll be good, right? <laughs> so we're gonna, oh, actually, you know what I do? I like to put, turn the stove on, that'll help. <laughs> Three kernels in first, and get the oil nice and heated up, and those you don't, pop. You don't have to do that any, with this pan, because it just pops them all. Oh, you're right, you're right. You don't, don't have, have to do, do a test anymore. piece. I don't have to test anymore, because I have such awesome cookware. You know who usually makes the popcorn now. <laughs> He's our popcorn man. We're like, Dad, we're going to watch a movie. Can we have popcorn? So I just layer the bottom with popcorn kernels and the oil, just like that. And then um, just put it on the oven and let it go. And all done popping, you'll know. So that's our popcorn. And we're going to start on the sauce while the popcorn's getting ready to pop. And the sauce is going to have, we need three quarters cup of light caro syrup. So we're using our measuring cup today, so we'll have three quarter cups of caro syrup. You can just pour it right in the pan. A quarter cup of margarine, but uh, I don't use margarine because it's a step away from plastic, I've heard. <laughs> so tonight we're gonna use real butter. A quarter cup, and this is one of our, let's see, also using our Tupperware Chef Series knives. A quarter cup, anybody know, how much is butter? Is that a half a stick? That's a half a cup. Stick is a half a cup. Half a cup. All right, you know what? We'll just go like this. This will be easier than trying to figure out how much that was. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to add 
two and three quarter cups of confectioner's sugar. I like to call it powdered sugar. It's much easier to say. <laughs> Um, powdered sugar is right there, and we need, we put three quarter cups in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Three quarter cup of syrup, two and three quarter cups of confectioner sugar. So you need two cups. And I love our Tupperware um, cups, measuring cups. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> our measuring cups, they have the two thirds and the three quarter cup. So you don't have to worry about that one. And then we, we use that one, so you know what, I have another measuring cup. Three quarter cup we need. Our measuring, got it. Yeah, I got two cups. And I was doing three quarter. <laughs> it's okay. Down. It's okay. We've got our awesome microfiber towels. You yeah. just wipe it up. <laughs> and we are just going to put all of that in a cup of marshmallows. So this won't be very sweet or anything. These are sweet popcorn balls. And we're going to add. Two teaspoons of cold water. Now our measuring teaspoons are fabulous. They stand on edge and they got everything down to that pinch. There's your little pinch that grandma always tells you, just a pinch, that's the one. So two tablespoons of cold water. There's one. Here's one. Start stirring. One. And two. And we are going to add the uh, corn syrup margarine we got. We use butter, cold water, sugar, marshmallows. We need a cup of marshmallows. And of course, we have all of our ingredients in our modular mates. And if you haven't gotten yours yet, this is the season. Everyone's getting organized. 40% off right now. The rectangle number two holds that entire bag of marshmallows. It'll hold five pounds of flour. And we need a cup of marshmallows, right? Mm -hmm. and that one, thank you. Muscles on in there. The measuring cups are for dry and liquid. Does that look like a cup? <laughs> okay, add that in there. <laughs> oh, do you hear the popcorn popping yet? Popping. There it goes, there it goes. Ovals, soup rolls, and uh, we are going to talk about these in a little bit, so stay tuned for the modular demo that's coming up. Measuring cups, curved, ergonomic for your hands. They stack really nice. You've got everything from the one quarter cup down to the cup. Yeah, two thirds and a three quarter cup. And then we talked about the teaspoon. We've got modular mates. Oh, now, we couldn't do this without our awesome bath bowls, okay? This is a special purchase with purchase set that's going on right now. You can get Junior and the regular bath bowl, which is 32 cups for $17.50, $50 purchase right now. We're gonna put all the popcorn down in here. We're gonna pour the sauce on top. We're gonna to shake it, shake it, shake it. Once the seal is on, it's airtight, liquid tight. And then we're gonna get our hands all nice and buttered and we're gonna make popcorn balls, okay? How's it going, this is it? Good. <laughs> the heat up? Yeah, I mean the butter's melting. Eight. Yeah, and you want Eight this and to and cook. You want this to cook nice and slow. Oh, how fun the popcorn's popping. And it's so cool because you have the glass cover, and so you can see. Um, and then when it stops um, popping, you know, a couple kernels here and there, like if there's a few seconds in between, turn it off and take it off the heat, and you're going to have perfect popcorn every time. And that's the slow burn. I figured it'd be better because I'm going to do it on the fast side and burn it. <laughs> They're starting to melt. Are they? So, yeah. Okay. You could turn that heat off and take it off. It'll keep this popping way. when you take the pan off. Okay. They're still kind of popping. Should I let it go? Yeah, it stays hot. So, my husband, the popcorn man, says... Turn the heat off now. Turn the heat off now. <laughs> and take it off. And take it off the burner. Mm-hmm. Well. All right, Elizabeth, how about if we switch? You use that side. I'll just put it on the middle. Yeah, thing. Oh, I'll tell you what. You, you use that one because it's going to be hotter for you. We're at 920. You have half a minute. All right. Well, all we're going to do is pour the popcorn into that's a bowl. We're going to pour the sauce on top, and we're going to take our that's a bowl, seal it up. We're going to shake, 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 shake. Then you're going to grease your hands with some butter, and you're going to scoop up your popcorn balls and, and uh, make um, your snowballs, okay? That's it. So thank you for our popcorn ball demo.